Hey, what's good everybody? It's Lance again and today I'm coming at you with another movie review. Today I'm going to talk about a film that I probably should have talked about this weekend. I had saw it this weekend just because kind of busy, couldn't really get a video out in time. But anyway, I'm going to bring it to you anyway. Today I'm going to talk about the new John Krasinski film, A Quiet Place, starring John Krasinski and Emily Blunt, his wife. Now, this film was a film that I actually was highly anticipating because of the fact that the trailer looked good. And it was John Krasinski, who I admire from The Office and other ventures that he has gone into. I know he's trying to become more of a serious actor now. He's been trying to become more of this, like, mainstream action star. He was in a Michael Bay film. Michael Bay actually produced this movie, which is interesting. I know he's trying to get into that realm of just being a serious drama slash action actor. In this film, he actually achieves that wholeheartedly. He is very good in this movie. Everybody is good, first of all. Let me just off the bat say what this film is about, if you guys don't already know already. It takes place during like a post-apocalyptic future kind of like world in which um, people, a lot of uh, people are dying. There's, there's this creature or creatures out there that are blind, they can't see, but they have amazing hearing. And if they hear you, they will attack you and kill you within instance. Like you will not be able to survive if you don't know how to keep your mouth shut. If you don't know how to not make a sound with your feet or if you're a clumsy person, you will probably not survive. So this was the whole play about this film was just be quiet. Um, in fact, a lot of the film has no dialogue. So be prepared for that. And it works because the moments of silence are what make the movie. There's a lot of great production design in this film. A lot. And it's just so believable. And in the moment, you are just submerged. You are just in fully hearty, full wholeheartedly embracing this film for what it is. It packs a big punch. This is a really good movie in all fronts. Acting, directing, sound design, camera, cinematography, you name it. Like this is a very, very, very solid film. First of all, I just want to commend John Krasinski again. I think he did a great job in this film. Um, Emily Blunt, his wife in real life and his wife in this film perfect. She's great. I love her. She's a great actress. She's a great mother figure in this movie. Her children, um, one is played by a girl who's actually deaf in real life and she plays a deaf girl in the movie. She was in a film called Wonderstruck that had came out last year and she's in this film now. I forgot her name, excuse me. I'm sure I'll be able to like find her name and I'll just put it somewhere that you can see. She was really good. There was moments of sign language that were totally believable. She knew how to present that emotion and she was just really, really decent in this film, really solid. And in The Sun as well, uh, he kind of seemed a little whiny, but at the end of the day, he kind of got together and held his own and that was his character. And you understood exactly what you know he was going through along with his family. This film focuses a lot about the creature or creatures that are trying to attack this family in their cabin. They have this fully wired uh, setup. They farm, they do whatever they can to survive. Emily Blunt's character is expecting a child in the film. She's pregnant which is kind of uh, an interesting thing to put in a film where the whole objective is not to make a sound but yet you're trying to procreate during this awkward time which is kind of like one of the things that you kind of shake your head at uh, at, at the, when you leave the film there are a couple things that kind of happen here that once you leave the film you'll kind of understand but during the film you wouldn't care because it was just that immersive it, it really took you and brought you into this world like I was kinda of mentioning before the film is not without a little bit of flaws or if you want to call them flaws I guess you can say it's just kind of like you know there are certain things that happen and you're kind of just like really like that I don't think a regular person or a smart person would do that um, something that happens in the beginning of the film which kinda of shapes the whole film kind of within the family at, at least um, that kind of happens and I don't know exactly uh, when you leave the theater you'll kind of like fully buy it but at the end of the day it still is it, it, it still doesn't do enough to hurt the film in any way in my opinion or hurt the film significantly it's just a minor thing that I kind of thought was kind of interesting and in how it went along with Emily Blunt's character being pregnant as well also I feel like 
at the end of the film you understand something something is revealed like there is this big thing that has to do with the overall plot of the film and I kind of felt that something like this could have been discovered earlier um, on if in, in this apocalypse kind of world that they're living in I feel like if 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 more research was to be done at the beginning of an outbreak such as this creature whatever blind creature apocalypse that's happening maybe something like that could have kind of happened you know what I mean like it could have happened uh, before you know after 400 days of being in this in this world at, at the end of the day that doesn't do enough to hurt the movie at all like I said before it's great sound design great camera cinematography um, just great acting solid direction by John Krasinski there are moments that I actually really felt emotional um, there is a moment at the end where I'm just like kind of like wow like that was really like I got to me personally um, you totally buy the chemistry between these characters the father daughter father son dynamic is there as well as the mother daughter mother son dynamic uh, everybody it just feels like a full family and I appreciated that wholeheartedly at the end of the day I really enjoy this film and I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 um, yeah, so definitely go see it if you guys haven't already. It's made about $50 million in the box office so far, and it's only growing. I'm sure you guys have already seen it, but in case you haven't, here's a review for you. Anyway, if you like this video, please subscribe. It will really help me out. You need a 1,000 subscribers in order to get any sort of monetization on your YouTube videos. And also, I'm, only, I'm almost at 300 subscribers, which is awesome. Like, that Atlanta video that I had did really blew up and has over 15K already. Wow, that's it's amazing. That's the most I've ever had in one single video in my whole YouTube career. So thank you so much. And like this video if you guys liked it. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.